What was the scene like back in the day when you were when you were growing up? Because I read stuff like Get in the Van with Henry Rollins and he's describing, you know, full-blown skinheads at punk gigs. And oh, yeah. I just can't imagine that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, see when, we, when we first, some of my earliest um, interesting scenarios along those lines were, were actually in the States, you know. Like the early 90s when we went there, there was a big, it was almost like a, it was almost like machismo mixed with just a trend to be a, you know, a white Aryan, like tough guy um, going to gigs and like, you know, displaying your, your dominance, you know what I mean? Which very much has, you know, has kind of, is, is kind of, um, um, is, is, is is very very similar to the whole white power ethos you know in terms of the way it sort of projects itself so we would have some very serious situations and i you know i'm not going to glorify these things because they were fucking miserable you know there's no romanticism about having to fight your way out of gigs because you've got people who are there to bully other people first and foremost to be like really violent you know um and and and, and it was miserable you know, but but on the other hand, we we could see the way things are going. It was poisonous. You know, as Napalm Death, as a member of Napalm Death, I was not prepared to accept that stuff and completely swamping the whole scene. You know, and in some, not all areas of the US, but in some areas, it seemed like that was the completely dominant force you know and we, well, it was just unacceptable as far as I was concerned you know and for my part I just tried to put my ideas across which didn't always go go down too well and consequently there was some pretty hairy scenes you know um, to, to put it mildly you know um, and again you know it's not bravado it's nothing like that because I, I don't want to be I don't want to be like in, involved in perpetuating violence, you know, cycles of violence. Like I'm not interested in that, you know, but it was just like, it seemed like if we didn't do something, very few other people were, you know, um, or, or at least it seemed that way to me, you know, and, um, and so I just had to say something at the very least, you know, and put, be, be the antithesis, you know, in some way.